Hey guys, I am so excited to begin crafting for Christmas. Let's get started. For this one, you'll need a wooden box or crate. I got this one from the Dollar Tree for $3. It's a little bit bigger than their dollar version, and I'm going to give it a coat of antique wax. I'll have this as a printable down in the description box. I got it out of an old book from the 1800s and then just sort of photoshopped using the imagery there to make this size just right to go on the side of this crate. I printed it out on tissue paper. I just used um, painter's tape to attach that to some cardstock and then ran it through my printer. Last looked out on the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about Even crisp and even Brightly shone the moon that night Though the frost was cruel When a poor man came in sight Gathering winter fuel Hither page and stand by me I thou knowst it telling Yonder peasant who is he Where and what his dwelling Sire he lives a good big head once that's set up, I did go over it um, with another layer of Mod Podge over the top of that tissue paper once it dried. I'm using these three gold bottle brush trees from the Dollar Tree, um, and they also had a pack of smaller ones. All of those smaller ones came in one pack, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. And really, these larger ones even though you know you buy you know they're each individual it's still a pretty good deal because they're a good size i'm using a few tumbling tower blocks just to give different heights to the tree to make the you know the whole scene inside the box um you know just look better and so under one i did a layer two layers of um the tumbling tower blocks and one i did just one layer and then the other one, I didn't use anything, you know, to bring it up. And then these um, little tiny bottle brush trees, I'm going to use something a little bit bigger to really raise them up so you can see them or else they would just get lost down in the bottom. So you can just use whatever you have to bring some, you know, bring these up a little bit and give them some height because we're going to be filling the bottom with moss and so those will be hidden in the bottom so it doesn't matter you know you can use recycle some you know something some container or something to um, you know to give these some height the larger ones I did not glue down and then um, the two in the front I did not glue down but just to use these tumbling tower blocks so they'll stand up I'm just going to use some hot glue and just put a dot you know on on each end there to secure them so they don't fall over and then it would be easy to just pop those out I did want to leave as many as I could not glued in case I wanted to ever switch this out or move things around bring me flesh and bring me wine bring me pine logs hither Thou and I will see him dine when we bear them thither. Page and monarch, forth they went, forth they went together. Through the rude winds wild lament and the bitter weather. In his master's steps he trod, where the snow lay dinted. He was in the very sod which the saint had trimmed. Therefore, Christian. I'm going to use some moss to fill in, um, to hide all of the objects that I used to bring those trees up. And, um, and then once I've stuffed the moss around the trees, they won't fall over as easily either. You could also use um, cotton balls to represent snow or any other faux snow that you might have. That would look great. But I just wanted to um, sort of... Um, copy the green of the Christmas tree on the front there to sort of bring some green um, repeated again inside the box there. I 
I remember long ago Laughing round the Christmas fireside Brightened by its ruddy glow For in summer's balmy evening In the fields above the hay For this one, I'm just going to give this tin a little bit of a makeover. I got it from a yard sale, and I liked the imagery, but just not the coloring on it. So I wanted to mute that color just a little bit and give it a more aged appearance. Far away, far away, have all... So I'm going to be using this Elmer's spray adhesive and just attaching this craft tissue paper. I got it from Amazon and I will link it down in the description box. And I'm just going to attach um, the tissue paper over this and it's gonna mute those colors and then also give the whole tin an, a, you know, an older look. You do want to make sure to be generous with the glue and um, get full coverage because any spots that you miss if you do this technique any spots you miss will, um, you know, sort of puff up just a little bit. So you want to make sure that the whole surface is covered, you know, in the glue. You could also use Mod Podge, but you are more likely to get wrinkles. Um, I love Mod Podge, but for some, you know, applications, I prefer to use maybe glue stick or a spray adhesive and um, for covering tins, this is the second time I've done this to some tins, and I prefer the spray adhesive for this particular project. I like how with the spray adhesive, it's a little more forgiving, and if you put it down wrong, you can pull it back up again because it's tacky for a little bit until it sets up, and then you can be fairly aggressive, more aggressive than you can be with Mod Podge in rubbing the wrinkles out, and I could have spent more time um, on rubbing the wrinkles out, but I just, you know, I didn't care that it was a little bit wrinkled. You know, I was going for an older look anyway. But on the bottom, I just left a little bit of excess of the tissue paper, and then I'm just going to fold that over, glue it, and fold it for a finished look on the bottom. So green, here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. We are not daily beggars that beg from door to door, but we are neighbors' children whom you have seen before. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too, and God bless you and send you a happy new year. God send you a happy new year. And for the lid, I just did the same thing. I cut a piece of tissue paper down um, to where it wasn't so big, so it was easier to work with. Then applied the adhesive, rubbed out the wrinkles, and then where the, um, what would you call that, the indented place is around the edge of the lid, I just pushed my finger in there to just follow that groove. And then the edges on the lid, I just fold it over and you are going to see some folds. Um, I don't know how, you know, you could get around that, but I didn't mind the look of the folds. And I just, um, you know, used the spray adhesive again and made sure not to wrap it. Instead of wrapping the edges like I did the bottom, I just went around and cut it flush. That way I didn't you know, um, hinder the lid from going down onto the tin. God bless the master of this house, likewise the mistress too, and all the little children. And then once that glue is set up, I did go back and do a coat of, cl a clear coat over the top. And that round the table glow. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too, and God bless you and send you. 
I got this um, sheet music from an old carol book from the early 1900s, 1920 something. And I had them printed at Staples. I did the blueprints. And um, you can see here the price that I paid. I paid $3.15 for each of these. So my total was $6 and some odd cents for both. And that was for 18 by 24. The size was 18 by 24 that I got. And you can get larger than that. But um, I got them color because I wanted the background to be off-white instead of white. But if you got them in black and white, they're a dollar and some odd cents for that size. I will leave these as printables in the description box, the two songs that I chose. But you could just do an internet search, an image search of Christmas sheet music or any sheet music and just find a higher resolution and have them printed off at Staples yourself. Now I did go to Office Max first because it was closer but they called me after I made the order online they called me and informed me that they don't print sheet music so I don't know if that's like nationwide or if that's just at my location but so then I went to Staples and had to drive a little bit further but these um these songs are in the public domain as well as the book that I got them from it's so old that it's in the public domain so I got the, I found it on archive.org so some music you know is you know copyright protected it's newer music so you might run into that if you try to do newer music staples didn't question it um, but I wouldn't you know have printed it anyway if it was like a newer song because I prefer the older Christmas music anyway and you always have the option of just printing this off on your printer and then but it would just have to be you know obviously a smaller size now to mount these printouts I'm going to put them onto foam board that I got from Dollar Tree so I got two of these foam boards from Dollar Tree they're size 20 by 30 you might be able to find some that are larger somewhere else I'm not sure how big the ones from Walmart are and I just mounted them using this uh, spray adhesive and that worked out great it couldn't have gone you know any better what I wanted to use as a frame was garden stakes because you can get long uh, garden stakes wooden ones at Dollar General for a dollar but I was out of them and so I went to Home Depot and found this trim and this trim was over a dollar a foot it was pretty outrageous so I got two lengths of it about eight feet long and I spent 20 bucks it was it was ten dollars for each eight foot length and so that is not very cost effective if I could go back if I I would maybe find something different to use because that really increased the cost because the foam board that was you know just 250 for two foam board the prints were six dollars and so it was a very affordable project until I got to this frame now if you go and try to find a wood frame for an 18 by 20 I mean you're not gonna find it for 10 bucks so I mean it is still a good deal I mean the project overall you would spend a lot more on a large piece of art like this you're still saving a lot of money but I like to keep my projects very affordable and so I would maybe use tumbling tower blocks around the edge I mean you could use anything you could use ribbon as a frame instead of wood or any other type of material as a frame I mean, you could get creative and if I could go back and do it over again I would have you know maybe thought on it longer and I thought up a couple of options but it just I just didn't have time it would have taken me even longer to get the video out so I just went ahead and went with it and used this and it and it really did turn out nice looking I just used my miter shears and then once I got the top and the side one of the top and side pieces then I just flipped it over and traced you know use that as a template to do the other two pieces if that makes sense that way that you have two the same size and another two you know the same length and so it was actually um, pretty easy to do and the 
matter shears cut through it very easily. I'm just showing you here how when you cut that foam board, it is going to have a white edge. This foam board, you know, was covered in black paper, but the inside was still white. And so if you just take that antique wax or some paint and color that, then that white won't stand out on the edges and it looks, you know, very nice and very finished. On each one, I did have a corner that had a small gap. So, um, you know, it's not an exact, when you use those miter shears, sometimes it shifts on you. And so, but it did, you know, end up looking really nice except for the one corner. But once I filled it with some wood filler, it turned out great. With a very dry uh, chip brush here from the Dollar Tree, I'm just going and um, distressing the edges and making it look a little bit older. I don't usually show painting, but I just wanted to show here how dry the brush is and how that really does work out the best. You're basically making it look dirty, and so you want it to be a very dry brush, and then you can, you know, layer on more layers, and you can, you can see there at the beginning I have a little place that's a little too dark, but it's okay. I mean, when you're trying to make something look older, um, you know, there's, it's hard to mess it up. I absolutely love how these turned out and you can pick your favorite song and have them printed and it's so um, co cost effective. It's hard. It would be hard to find art this big, you know, in this price range. So I really love how they turned out. I can't wait to decorate with them for Christmas on my mantle. I haven't even gotten my Christmas stuff out of the attic yet. And so I might show later, you know, in a later video after I've made some more crafts, how I've decorated everything up. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, stay tuned on my channel because this is just the first Christmas um, video. There will be more this year and uh, I've already gotten some more started before I even finished editing this video. So stay tuned for that and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any new content. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.